Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, students. Welcome to our science class. Today we are going to do an exercise, but before we do our exercises, I want to remind you with our classroom rules. Sign in on time, find some quiet place to study, listen, look at the screen, raise your hand, answer when teacher calls your name, do not draw on the screen, and do not talk to your friends, okay guys? Good. Today is Tuesday, the 6th of October, 2020. We are going to do sum it up. Open with me to page 114, everyone. Everyone. Yep. Show me page 114. You always can find my page number on top of the screen. Okay? You can see it, guys, 114. Excellent, Abdelilah. Yes. Good job, Ismail. Good job. Amir, do you have your book? Okay, good. Abdelaziz, do you have your book? Okay, good. Page 114, everyone. Are you ready? Why, Abdelila Haddad? Can you unmute your microphone and tell me? What's wrong? Do you have something? Okay. Are you ready now? Okay, good. Great. Let's start. Question number one. I want you to draw an X on the animal that does not look like it's young. Does the cat look like it's mommy? What about the chicken? What about a frog? And what about the fish? Now let's see who wants to participate. What are you, which, okay, Smail, what should I cross? The frog? Excellent, the frog, excellent. So the frog, when it's very small, it doesn't look like the mommy, it doesn't look like the parents. So I am going to make a cross on a frog. Now, number two, I want you guys to draw a picture of this animal's mother. Sif, can you tell me? This animal's mother, what is it? It's a butterfly. It's a butterfly. Good job. It's a butterfly. So uh, you should draw a butterfly. Let me draw mine. And I want you to draw yours. Okay, guys? If you finish, show me your butterfly. Okay, this is my butterfly. If you finish, guys, I want you to show me yours. Amir, this is not a, a butterfly. I want you to draw this mother's animal. Uh, this mother's animal, look. Okay, up there. Can you bring it again, Ismail? Okay, good, excellent.
Abdullah, how are you drawing? Thank you, Amir. Is this, yes, this is a butterfly. Excellent. But why you draw a cat next to it? Amir? Amir? Can you unmute your microphone, please? My mom draw. Oh, a cat. All right. But can you draw, okay, the, um, this worm? Can you draw this worm? Because the worm over here, the caterpillar is the young. And the mother over here is the butterfly. Okay, guys. Finish or not yet? Thank you, Amir. Thank you. Good job, Amir. Yes, Abdulillah. Excellent, Abdulillah. Thank you. Nice, Khalid. You are drawing using the phone. What about your book? Where's your book? Excellent. Good job. Thank you, Khalid. Thank you. Thank you, Abdulillah. Thank you. Thank you, Abdulillah. Okay, guys, can we go to the next page? Guys, can we go to the next page? Yes, Abdurrahman. Miss, I draw, I draw a dog and a lion, and I draw a bird, and I draw a fish, and I draw a butterfly, and I draw a cat, and I draw a snake, and I draw a dog. I think you drew a zoo, my friend. <laughs> yes, Abdul Aziz, thank you. Good job. Okay, Abdurrahman, why did you draw all these animals? I want you to draw the young and its parents only. Can you draw the young and its parents only? Ha, Abdurrahman, can you do that? Nice, I love that you know how to draw uh, all the animals and maybe you have a zoo right now. But please, my dear boy, I want you to, to draw the young and the mother, the parent, okay? Now let's go to the next page. Or not the next page, let's say the next slide. Over here, number three, I want you to answer the riddle. I am little now. I will change and grow someday. I will be an adult cat. What, I, what am I? Who can tell me? What am I? Yes, Abdulillah al Badi. Yes, excellent. It is a cat. Excellent. Now, over here, number four. Think about it. It's a baby, most like a polar or a tadpole, or a caterpillar and why now is a baby like a polar bear tadpole or a caterpillar what do you think abdul aziz abdul aziz can you unmute your microphone my dear
wa. Okay, a baby, a human being baby, is it like a polar bear or a tadpole or a caterpillar? A polar bear. Wow, good job. Okay, why he's like a polar bear? Because the polar bear has drank milk and mom uh, like the baby. Excellent, good job, excellent. Okay, safe, my dear. Only he drinks milk like polar bear or what else? Uh, um, now like... let me help you. Does it have metamorphosis or not? No. Yes. Who, who has metamorphosis? Animal. Which one? The polar bear, tadpole or caterpillar? Uh, the 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 yes. caterpillar the caterpillar yes, yes. And excellent also the polar bear are you sure about the polar bear i i mean the tadpole yes excellent good job so a baby like is most like a polar bear because they all look like their parents that but only they are young and smaller okay a tadpole and a caterpillar, they don't look like their parents. Okay, guys? So, over here, I want you to write a kitten. Thank you, Say for the, for the butterfly. It's, it looks lovely. Now, over here, you will write a kitten. And over here, you are going to write a baby is most like a polar bear. Um, you don't need to write, guys. You can just circle a polar bear, okay? So write a kitten and circle a polar bear. Okay, did you finish, guys? Show me your thumbs up if you finish. Good, good. Masha'Allah, good. Excellent, excellent, boys, excellent. So let's go to the next page. Let's go to the next page. Oh, we have a play word. Puzzle. Look at the puzzle. We have the words tadpole, chained, pupa, larva, produce, reproduce, cycle, okay? Number one is the stage in a butterfly's life cycle after the egg. Wow, what comes after the egg? Who knows what comes after the egg? Is it tadpole? Change, pupa, larva. Yes, yeah, Ismail. Caterpillar. Excellent. What do I call the caterpillar? Pupa or larva? Larva. Excellent, good job. So number one is larva. Good job, good job. Okay, Abdurrahman, can you unmute your microphone? Yes. To make more living things of the same kind, what is it? 
Chain. Really? I want you to make more of the same kind to give birth or lay eggs. Is it change or reproduce? Reproduce. Excellent. So reproduce is number two. Good job. This is number one. And this is number two. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Number three. The design, or sorry, the stage in a butterfly's life between larva and adult. What is it, ya Khalid? Between larva and adult, is it change, pupa, cycle, or tadpole? Tadpole. Butterfly. Mm. The butterfly will start with an egg. Then larva. Then what? And adult. Oh. What after larva? Um. Think you're a good boy. Think. Is it tadpole or pupa? Pupa. Excellent. Good job. So number three is pupa. Number three is pupa. Now let's see number four. Yeah, Talal, where is Talal? Hi, Talal. How are you, my dear? Yeah. Okay, number four. A young frog that lives in water. Who's he? A young frog that lives in water. What do I call it? Change, cycle, or tadpole? What do you... Number four. Yes, Nine? young frog. Yes, the young frog. Uh, cycle. Are you sure? Uh, I mean uh, change. Are you sure? Are you sure? Thank you. Thank you, Talal. Thank you, Talal. Amir, can you tell me, a young frog, what do I call it? That one that lives in water. Tadpole. Good job, it's a tadpole. So a tadpole lives in water. Number four. Excellent. Now, this takes place during metamorphosis in frogs and butterflies. Huh? Who knows? Who knows? Raise your hand if you know, Ismail. Cycle. Are you sure that takes place during metamorphosis, what is metamorphosis? Metamorphosis number means five. what? Number five. Yes, number five. It's cycle. Are you sure? Yeah. No, it's not. Thank you, Ismail. Thank you, Ismail. Khalid. Khalid. What do yes. I mean by metamorphosis? Metamorphosis means. Cycle or change? Cycle. Are you sure? Thank you, Khalid. Thank you. Sif, where are you? Yes, Sif. What do I mean by metamorphosis? It means change. Of course, I mean change because a frog and a butterfly doesn't look like the parents when they are small. Yes, Sif, do you need something? Yes, I already write them all. Masha Allah, good job, Sif. So a, a change is metamorphosis. This is number five. Then all the stages of an animal's life makes up life cycle okay 
all the stages the eggs, laying eggs, young, being a newborn or being an adult, all these stages, we call it life cycle. All clear, my boys? All clear, my boys? Show me your thumbs. Okay, now you can write for two minutes, okay? And for you safe, you can go to the next page and try to solve it. Read the question and try to solve it. If you finish, guys, you can go to the next page, try to solve no, page number 116, okay? Okay, guys, are you ready to go to the next page? Don't worry about the writing. If you didn't finish, I will be sending these answers to your email. Okay, guys? Okay? Can we go to the next page now? Can we go to the next page? Okay, let's go. Over here, how is the life cycle of a butterfly different? from the life cycle of a polar bear. Use this chart to show your answers. Now, I want you to think of a butterfly and a polar bear and how their life cycle is different. If a butterfly hatches from an egg, what about a polar bear, Ya Abdulillah Al-Badi? What about the polar bear? I don't know. Does it hatch from egg? Um, the bear. No. No. A butterfly will hatch from an egg, but a polar bear will what? Give birth? Yes. Excellent. So a polar bear will give birth. Now, a polar bear cub will drink milk from its mother's body. What about a caterpillar? A caterpillar will eat from where? From mommy or on its own? Hiya, Talal. From uh, its mother's body. Are you sure? The butterfly, uh, the caterpillar. Hi, uh, from itself. Yes, from itself, from excellent. The polar bear. No, thank you, Talal. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Yes, Abdul Aziz. Now, the polar bear cub looks at, look a lot like its parents, okay? The young polar bear look like mommy. What about the butterfly? Does it look like parents? No. No, excellent, good job, good job. Ahmed, Ahmed? Hi, Ahmed. What? Butterfly larva does not stay with its parent. What about the polar bear? Stay with its parent. Excellent, the mother takes care of the cub, the young cub. So, we learned today that a polar bear gives birth to a cub and a butterfly larva eats the leaves so it can be, it can grow up and doesn't drink milk from its mother. And a butterfly larva looks different 
from its parent. Unlike the polar bear cub, the polar bear cub looks like its mommy. A butterfly larva does not stay with its parent. And a polar bear stay with its parents for many years. Okay, guys? That's it, guys, for today. I'm going to leave you for two minutes to write, and then I will have to leave because you have your break. So, guys, if you finish writing, you just can go from this session, okay? Thank you, guys. See you tomorrow. I will just stop.